Hey guys, I'm here at the Salvation Army store in Hickory, North Carolina. It's almost closing time, so this is going to be a pretty short walkthrough. I just wanted to come in and see what kind of fall decor and furniture they might have today. After I leave here, I'm going to head on down to the Goodwill, I think. It looks like they have sold most of the furniture that they've had recently, and they have had a lot of furniture. Even though I really don't need any new furniture, I'm always looking out for a good bargain, and I'm always more than happy to show you guys what you can come and find at the local thrift stores. These dressers are older, and they're probably solid wood. I'm going to check this out. This is pretty cute for fall and winter. Here's a tabletop organizer. This is pretty nice. It appears to be in really good shape still. I thought that this might be a storage ottoman, but it does not appear to be. It's only $5.99 and it's in really good shape, so that's a good price for that. Let's check out this one. Okay, so this one does have storage. That's nice. This red bowl is a gorgeous color for fall. It's a heavy acrylic or something, and it's $5.99. This is a cute dining room table. It comes with three chairs, and they're asking $79.99 for it. Don't forget to look at all the walls because there's lots of artwork to choose from. These smaller round tables are perfect if you live in an apartment, a trailer home, or a smaller home with a smaller kitchen or dining room space. They have really sold a lot of their furniture recently. They used to have some tables and some side chairs and bar stools back in this area, and it's all empty. Oh my god, y'all, look at these Norman Rockwell prints. I just love these vintage frames. These are wood frames, and they just have so much more detail than newer frames do. They're just really, really ornate. Look at this one of them sled riding. That is so cute. It was missing the glass, but you can get new glass for these frames. These two matching canvas prints right here are textured. They do still have a little bit of Halloween decor, and look at all of this artwork they still have to choose from. And just a reminder, the Salvation Army thrift stores do rely on donations, so if you have any home decor, clothing, or furniture items you would like to donate, they do accept donations. The noise you hear in the background is the air conditioning unit and employees trying to put out more merchandise. They have these two matching trays priced at $3.99 a piece, and that's a really good price because the back here says it was originally sold at Hobby Lobby for like $17. The men and women in here do a really good job of trying to set up these displays and color coordinate everything. This is one of my favorite thrift stores to visit because they usually do get in some pretty good items and out of all the thrift stores, they still have some of the most reasonable prices. If you watch other thrifting videos, then you will see in the comments that a lot of people are complaining about the thrift stores raising their prices. And I get it, because if they raise the prices, especially on clothing, and you can go to Walmart and buy that same shirt brand new for $5.99, then you're not going to shop at the thrift stores. I totally get it. This Salvation Army store has some really fair prices, even on clothing. Yes, I've bought clothing pieces from here, and they have different days where they have sales 20, 30 to 50 percent off, so you can still get some really good bargains in the Salvation Army store. If you're new to my channel, I would like to take a moment and ask you to please hit that like and subscribe button if you're enjoying this video. It's always free to do. There's no charge at all to hit like or subscribe and I really do appreciate you watching. I also put out videos that are just nature related and I have some cooking videos coming out too so I'm trying to mix it up for you guys a little bit so it's not all thrifting videos okay? 
Hey guys, I'm here at the Goodwill store on Lenore Ryan Boulevard in Hickory, North Carolina today. I just left the Salvation Army store. I got just a tiny bit of video in there because they were getting ready to close. I got there a little bit late, but I can show you some of the stuff they had out for fall decor and what little bit of furniture they had in stock. A, and I may or may not try to make it to two of the other Goodwills today. We'll see. As soon as you walk in, the purses are to the right. Sometimes you can find some really nice purses in here. Check this out. It kind of looks like it's shaped like a guitar. This is handmade leather. This is definitely not my style of purse, but you just got to appreciate the fact that some artisan handmade this purse. This is a tote bag. Tote bags sell for $1.99. They were going to charge me $5.99 for it though because it had a zipper on it. They have this new policy if a tote bag has a zipper on it, even a cheap plastic zipper, they want to charge you the same price as a purse. So I put it back and did not buy it. I can go to the Goodwill bins and buy totes all day long for like less than a dollar because it's by the pound. If you're new to thrifting, you kind of got to know how things are priced at retail stores or other thrift and bargain stores in order to be able to save yourself some money when you're thrifting. Otherwise, items that you purchase may not be a good bargain, like that tote bag. That was not a good bargain for me. And how do you learn what's a good bargain? Well, you check prices at other stores and get to know how much a basic shirt sells for. You can also use Google Image Search to do price comparisons. I like this flannel shirt and fall and winter's right around the corner. I normally don't film a lot of clothes shopping because I know some viewers really like it and some viewers really do not. So I try to limit how much clothing I film. If you're new to thrifting, I want to remind you that if you thrift for clothes, you need to check each piece individually and thoroughly. If it has buttons, you want to make sure there's no missing buttons. If there's a zipper, you want to make sure the zipper works. You want to make sure there's no tears, no loose threads, and of course, most importantly, no bad stains. You want to check and make sure there's no armpit stains and no ring around the collar, especially on men's dress shirts. And if you buy winter sweaters, you want to check the sweaters and make sure they do not have excessive peeling. You can buy the little electric or battery operated clothing shavers. Those are perfect to use even on your brand new sweaters because you know that as soon as you wash and dry a winter sweater, they usually get some peeling on them. This is a pretty flannel shirt, but yellow is definitely not my color. Okay, it's busy over here, so off to the furniture section. There's a very large group of college age girls in here shopping, and there's quite a few parents in here shopping with their kids because the kids just started back to school, y'all. This top drawer was really surprising to me. It's up tall enough that, like, I wouldn't be able to see in it to put anything in there, but this is $75, and it's in good shape. These white bar stools are kind of neat. They're asking $15 a piece for these. Y'all know I love baskets. I have a basket addiction, so I'm always looking at the baskets. No, I don't need any more baskets. I really don't, but I love to look at the baskets. Baskets are so versatile. I mean, you can use them for planters, for storage. Oh, look at this cow. Somebody will buy this because there's a lot of people out there at like farmhouse style decor. And y'all know I love lighthouses too, but I definitely do not need any more lighthouse decor. This is a cute clock. I'm always checking out the clocks. There's like little hidden storage in there. That's kind of cute. Just a reminder, everything at Goodwill is donated to, so every time you come in here, you will find different merchandise depending on what's been donated and what's been sold. Oh my God, y'all, look at this wall candle holder. We had something similar to this back in the 70s. I wonder if this is vintage or if it's a reproduction piece. 
Don't forget anything like a bowl or a box. You know, geometrical shapes are always nice to mix and match for display tables. If you're new to thrifting and you buy any kind of glassware, make sure you check it for nicks, cracks, and chips. And please don't bash the Goodwill employees saying all they do is put out broken stuff. Sometimes, yeah, they might put out some things that are broken, but other times you have customers coming in here handling merchandise all day long and things get bumped and tipped over on the shelves and sometimes they just get broken here on the shelves and it's no fault of the employees. I love this. This is so cute. Mom, 24-7. Yeah, look at this basket. This is the perfect size to roll up your towels or washcloths in your bathroom to display them, yet have storage. And you can just clean that stuff right out of the bottom. That's gooey, and it just pulls right out. Rotating organizers are perfect for makeup, fingernail polish, lipsticks, brushes, whatever. This cow design butter dish is super cute. I love that Goodwill is putting the saran wrap around the salt and pepper shakers and other items to make sure they don't get separated. This little duck soap holder dish is super cute. Yes, y'all, I am going to look at that basket back there too. Don't you worry, it's super cute. These two tier baskets can be used in a variety of ways. You can roll up your hand towels and your washcloths and store them in those two-tiered baskets. Sit the basket on a vanity in your guest bathroom so that they have extra hand towels and washcloths if they need them. These shelves look a little sparse, but used to, they would be so full that things would be toppling off into the floor. But we do have three to four Goodwill stores within a 30-minute drive of one another, plus the outlet store. There's a couple of Salvation Army stores, a hospice store, a Habitat Restore, and then, of course, there's the Safe Harbor uh, Resource Warehouse. So there is a little bit more competition in the thrift stores in our area. And that's a good thing for all of us thrifters because that means we have more choices. They have all of these really nice baskets today, and they all appear to be in really good shape. I really like this basket with the lid. These are really nice for organizing things. Oh my God, y'all, look at this little basket with the legs on it. This would be so perfect to use as a yarn basket. You can put your yarn in there when you're crocheting this fall and winter and sit it right beside your chair. I'm kind of surprised that this Mikasa Rosella glass bowl is still here. It's really cute and it's in good condition. They're asking $9 for it and that's probably why it's still here because unless you want it for personal use, most resellers aren't going to touch that because they can only get about $20 to $23 for it online. I'll have to come back and see if they sell this because they've got it priced for $15. In the past, you could buy something like that for less than 10 in here. I hear people complaining about the prices all of the time, and I get it. I really do, because it is a thrift store. This looks like the English Garden pattern, fine china. Yes, it is. This is made in Japan. This is a good deal. They're only asking $6 for this soup bowl. Okay, y'all, I had to delete out some of the background noise of this video. Sorry, but the college girls in here are having a really fun time, and they've got a lot of conversation going on, and, well, that doesn't need to be in this video. I do enjoy seeing and hearing the college girls having a fun time thrifting, though. It's a refreshing change to hear some young people being brutally honest with one another about what they should or should not be buying to wear. But the most important thing is they're all having fun doing it and um, they're all taking it in stride. Okay, neat little ceramic teapot and cups, but you know, I like things to be functional and the teapot's only as big as one of the cups, so 
Mm. This trivet can be hung on the wall and it is fine porcelain. Here's a bath sponge that is brand new. You wouldn't want to buy a used bath sponge, that's for sure. Here's some yarn that could go in that basket I showed you earlier that would be perfect for a yarn basket. Some brand new bicycle tires. I'm assuming those would go on like a kid's bike most likely. Y'all know I love a basket that has a liner in it so you can remove that and wash it. But I definitely do not need a pink basket that says baby on it. What do you think the one thing is that I see on this shelf that I want to look at? You can get these cute summer hats in here for less than a couple of dollars. People buy them and then don't wear them. And these little baskets here, you can buy these at the Dollar Tree for $1.35. So y'all check the prices before you buy them anywhere else. You can often find artificial flowers in here. Sometimes they're brand new and sometimes they're used. And look, this is an air filter. I guess this goes on a car, right? I wanted to see if this clear glass jar had a maker's mark on it because it kind of feels expensive, but I'm not seeing anything. You can often find things that are brand new, still in the original packaging. This sugar jar is cute. They're asking $4 for it. They have a few of these espresso cups. This owl has some suitcases. There's uh, tote bags, backpacks. Sometimes you can find brand new backpacks in here. The kids have just now gone back to school, so it's not too late to look and find some brand new backpacks. Maybe they need back to school purses or totes to take with them. This is brand new. They're only asking $8 for this backpack, y'all. That's a really good deal. Okay, y'all, this is a garment bag hanger. You really just have to dig through here because there's all kinds of different tote bag styles and backpacks to choose from. Okay, so I just finished shopping in the Goodwill. All I bought was this flannel shirt. It actually is hard to tell on camera. It has these little purple stripes in it. It kind of matches the shirt that I have on, which is really cool because I can wear it over top of this shirt when it gets cool in the evening. Thanks for watching. I hope to see you again for the next video. Please hit that like and subscribe button. Those are always free. Love you guys. Bye.